with just this one AI tool, you can create consistent characters with only description or image and also bring your image to life using their image to video feature. This is me and this is my AI version all created using this website by using the consistent character and image to video feature on this website. Now let me show you how to use this website to create something amazing like this. To get started, you click on the website link under this video description to come to this website. You will need to sign in before you start creating any of your video or your image. To sign in to the website, come over here and click on sign in. From here, you can use different options to sign in to this website. You can either use sign in with Discord, sign in with Google, sign in with Twitter, or you sign in with your email. I'm just going to sign in with my Google to sign in to the website. Now, after you have been signed into the website, you'll be greeted with this message Hi, listen and tell, ready to get creative. Now, there are other cool things you can do on this website, which I'm going to be demonstrating to you in this video. But for this video, we'll be focusing on creating consistent character for your, your AI video and also how to create your AI image using this particular website. If you see here, we have image, you can create image, you can also edit image. I'm going to be talking about all this in this video. From here, we can create consistent character and we can also have image to video using this website if you come down you can see image to video choose a style you can explore models you can convert image to text prompt you can also upscale your images you can customize your creativity and from here we are going to generate an ai image then we we'll use this ai image to create a consistent character to create your ai image come here and click on create image and then from here you can see these are my different creations that i've done using this website to create your image you will come over to the left hand side here this is the custom settings so from here you can select any of this open art but we are not going to be selecting anything from there now come down and click on model or character we need to select a model or character and to do that click on switch here if you click on switch you'll be given an option like this whereby you can select different model or different character for this i'll be using photo realistic and um, which is this one we want to get a realistic image but if you want to get a 3d image there are different models here we have pizza wave we have other ones stable diffusion we have open art 3d we have cartoon then there are different models you can select from here but for the type of image i'm going for this is the one that best suits the image i'm going for the photo realistic so i'm going to select that once i'm select that it's going to be selected here you can see it's been selected here so from here you enter your prompt or you can also enter image to prompt you can import an image and use the prompt from the image but for this let's just enter an image prompt now i just entered my prompt and this is the prompt i'll be using an african nigerian beautiful young chubby woman in her late 20s standing in a village setting washing clothes at the background there are mud houses and trees now you can enhance your prompt using this particular option enhance prompt it's going to give you a more detailed prompt so if i click on quick enhance we are going to wait and see the outcome of this so after enhancing my prompt i've gotten this so this is the prompt has been enhanced now we'll come down here you, you can use image guidance so you can upload an image to guide the ai in style composition pose and more to create your id image now you come down here this is the output size so you need to select an output size for your image so you click on default and for this we'll be using landscape there are other um different sizes you can use from here this is vertical tablet portrait art print cinema um landscape so we are going for youtube video so i'm going to be selecting landscape now you come down here and select the number of images you want to create um at once so if you want to create let's say four images you are going to input four images inside this box if you want to create two images i'm going to input two image inside that box and now after doing those settings you come here and click on create i'll also show you how i was able to generate this ai image from this my picture and i was able to also animate this my ai image picture i'll also show you how to do this so don't go anywhere watch this video to the end as it is very very important so after getting your image from here this is where you can click to download your image so if i click on download as i can download as jpeg i can also download as png file i can download as svg file so i'm going to be downloading as png file to get my um, image downloaded 
After generating an image, now let's talk about how to use the consistent character feature on this website and then the image to video on this website. You can see these other videos, they were created using the consistent character on this website and also the image to video on this website. Now to use the consistent character on this website, you will need to come to the uh, website then click on consistent character if i click on consistent character from here you have three options to use for your creating your consistent character on this website we have the first option available is start with description you can describe what your character looks like then the second option here we can start with one image you can upload one image to guide the design so um, i'm going to be showing you this then we can start with four images if you have four quality image images that you can use to um, create your consistent character then you can start with that then if you could come down here you can see this is my characters i've created so you can see this is my image from this my image i was able to get this particular ai image then these are the characters then from this particular character the um, the boss baby character i was able to create this particular consistent character and animated it into a video so now let's move on let's start with um with one image so i'm going to click on start with one image then from here first you need to enter your character name i'll tell you why this entering the character name is very important so let this character name i'll call it learn with listen so let me call it learn with me so from here you need to enter you need to upload your reference image so for me to do that you click on up upload reference image so from here i'll select the image i want to upload after selecting my image i'll click on open after my image has been uploaded, I will come down here and click on create character. Once you click on create character, your character is going to start creating. You wait, it takes about 10 minutes for your character to um, finish creating. You can close the website and come back to check your character when it's done creating. Now that your character has been created, you will see that option down here. See that your character has been created. Then for you to use that character to start creating different images using the same face, the sense that you need to come here and click on create then from here you can see the character has been inputted here this upside you can see the character has been selected so from here you can select a creation mode so here we have prompt and reference we also have post your character so you can use the 3d posting of your character then we have place your character in an image so you can put you can place your character in an image i'll show you all this option in this video so now let's go on with the prompt and reference so you click make sure the prompt and reference is selected once it is been selected then this is the way to strictly keep um, key character feature so if you want to keep most of the character feature that you just created then you need to take it up to up to 0 0.8 or you can even take it up to 1 so you come down here and from here you enter your prompt so this particular um, text that will be here which is at um, learn with lacing this is where this is my character name so if you remove this character name it's not going to work so for you to bring back that character name you need to enter at first for you to bring back this character name enter at and from here you can see different characters that you have created so i will to enter this before i start typing in my prompt so that is what i'll enter there then from here i'll click on enhance prompt for me to get a detailed prompt for this after enhancing my prompt you can see this is a detailed prompt i've gotten then come over here you can use the image guidance so you can um, upload an image but there's no need for you to upload an image okay so come over here this is the aspect ratio you need to use so i'll select the landscape aspect ratio at is that size that i'm going for then after that i'll click on create to start creating my image and now after some few seconds my images has been created so let's just open this image you can see how cool this image is it looks like me me so this is the first image let's go again and let's see the second image that we're able to create this is the second image you can see how cool this image is if you are um, okay with the image you can go ahead and click on this download option to download your image so this is the first image i can also click on this download option to download this image now if i want to also create this image create the same me sitting in another position or let's say me doing another thing i can also do that all you have to do is to come here see the character is selected i'll come down here and um, from here i'll enter another prompt so i'll need to enter the character the model name remember to enter the model name so i'm going to say standing so let's enhance this prompt after enhancing this prompt you can see what we have 
um working working confidently in the street so let's go down here and create our image and let's see the outcome of this image if it's still going to be the same face and the same feature so let's open the image after some few seconds you can see our image is still the same face the same feature let's check another one here so you can see this is me the same face the same feature now if you want to um describe the kind of clothes that you are wearing or you want to describe anything that you are wearing then you need to go to your prompt and give a brief description of the kind of clothes that you are wearing the kind of shoe the kind of cap you are wearing you need to add that into your prompt let's turn this our image into a video so let's say this particular image you want to turn this image into a video you need to open up the image once the image is being opened up then you come over here you will see image to video click on that image to video option and another page is going to be loaded when the page is being loaded you are going to see we have um, the image here so this particular feature is using clink 1.6 so come over here we are going to do some little settings so come over here this is the image it has been uploaded then um, adjust creativity level we want to leave it at 0 0.5 then come over here from here you need to enter what you want this image to be doing so all i want this image to be doing i want to i want it to talk so talking so i'll just write talking inside here and from here you can generate from the image so from here i'll click on um, create to start my creation and guys after some few minutes you can see this is a um, video you can open this e video you can see this is what we are having you can see the feeling you can see um, the natural feeling adding to this video you can see how it's talking demonstrating with his hand now if you want to download this video simply come up here and you are going to see download us click on that and you see mp4 you can also download as um, gif you can download as this other um, format so i'm going to download as mp4 and our video has been downloaded now there's another cool thing i need to show you on this website as a free user you'll be given one time 40 trial credit for seven days you also have up to 40 per month each month um, number of images you have up to 40 um, you can create 40 images per month parallel generation up to four now they have their essential plan this is for monthly subscription for the monthly subscription it charges 14 dollar you get 4,000 credits per month train you can train up to two personalized models like what i've just shown you in this video you can create up to three two consistent characters per month eight parallel of um, generation 1000 turbo point per day you get to get 1000 turbo point per day so these are the things you can do using the essential plan then they also have the advanced plan which is the most popular plan here you have 12000 credits per month add credit as needed so you can add credit anytime you want to add credit so um, from here you can see this is what you have under the advanced plan then they have the infinite plan which is the 56 dollar per month so here we have 24,000 credits per month advanced credit as needed so this is the current plan i'm using this 56 dollar plan so this is a good investment for those going into the ai niche if you want to have a seamless flow when generating your ai image to video or you can um, create your model so that you have consistency in your images um, because consistency in your image or in your video gives you that um, cool feeling and makes people to watch your video more not when you are going to be having different clothes different faces and you're talking about a particular character so these are the plan available on this website so it's a good investment for you to do if you are going into the ai niche thank you guys for watching and let me know if you try this website out in the comment section of this video i'll see you in my next video